I'm just going to talk about inequalities. Inequalities are relationships between functions, and I'm going to prove a couple of them using the properties over there, the properties that functions with positive derivatives are increasing. Here's an example. e to the x is greater than 1 plus x for x greater than 0. The proof is the following. I consider, so here's a proof. I consider the function f of x, which is the difference, e to the x minus 1 plus x. I observe that it starts at f of 0 equal to, well, that's e to the 0 minus 1 plus 0, which is 0. And it keeps on going. f prime of x is e to the x. If I differentiate here, the 1 goes away. I get uh, minus 1. That's the derivative of the function. And this function, because e to the x is bigger than 1 for x positive, is positive for x positive. As x gets bigger and bigger, this rate of increase is positive. And therefore, three dots, that's therefore, f of x is bigger than its starting place for x bigger than 0. If it's increasing, then that's, in particular, it's increasing starting from 0. So this is true. Now all I have to do is read what this inequality says. And what it says is that e to the x, just plug in for f of x, which is right here, minus 1 plus x is greater than the starting value, which was 0. And now I put the, the, the thing that's negative on the other side, so that's the same thing as e to the x is bigger than 1 plus x. That's a typical inequality. And now we'll use this principle again. Oh, gee, I erased the wrong thing. I erased the, uh, the statement and not the proof. Well, hide the proof. And uh, the next thing I want to prove to you is that e to the x is bigger than 1 plus x plus x squared over 2. So how do I do that? I introduce a function g of x, which is e to the x minus this. And now I'm going to just going to do exactly the same thing I did before, which is I get started with g of 0, which is 1 minus 1, which is 0. And g prime of x is e to the x minus, now look at what happens when I differentiate this. The 1 goes away, the x gives me a 1, and the x squared over 2 gives me a plus x. And this one is positive for x greater than 0 because of step 1, because of the previous one that I did. All right? So this one is increasing. g is increasing, which says that g of x is bigger than g of 0. And if you just read that off, it's exactly the same as our inequality here. e to the x bigger than 1 plus x plus x squared over 2. Now, you can keep on going with this essentially forever. And let me just write down what you get. You get e to the x is greater than 1 plus x plus x squared over 2. The next one turns out to be x cubed over 3 times 2. x to the fourth over 4 times 3 times 2. And you can do whatever you want. You can do others. And this is like the tortoise and the hare. Right? This is the tortoise, and this is the hare. It's always ahead. But eventually, if you go infinitely far, it catches up. 
So this is the, 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 the act turns out to be exactly equal to e to the x in the limit. And we'll talk about that maybe at the end of the course. <laughs>